Hey guys, Bill here with The Panic Perspective, where we go on the offense against anxiety and depression. Thank you for joining me. We're going to be talking about a rather important topic because this topic is how you start every single day. What you do in the morning translates into what happens the rest of the day. So it's really important that you're on purpose with a morning routine. I've got a great one. It's ha it served me well, and it's about a 15-minute process that I go through every single morning. If you're like most people, your reflex in the morning is to reach for the phone, the doom machine. Trust me, you can doom surf all day long. The <laughs> last thing you want to do is start your morning on the doom surf wave. So, right off the bat, the first thing I do is I say a really quick prayer. Heavenly Father, be with me today and help me today, Lord. Be present in my life. Thank you, Lord. Just very, very simple, very, very quick. And, and the first thing that I'm trying to do is just, just get out of myself. I'm just trying to get out of myself, and I'm trying to um, reach out for some help. First thing I do. Second thing I do is I start to do a very quick gratitude list. Now, I'm doing this in my head. I've just woken up, but my eyes aren't open yet. I'm asleep next to my wife. I don't want to wake her up, and so I use my internal voice to answer the question of what am I grateful for today? And it can be really basic. I'm grateful that it's sunny. I'm grateful that it's rainy. I'm grateful uh, that it's Friday. Whatever pops in my head. I try not to overthink it. It's the first thing that pops in your head sort of gratitude list, I think, is a really good way to, to do this. Gratitude list. It's the second thing that I do. The third thing that I do is I ask myself a very quality question designed to steer my mind in the right direction. For example, what am I excited for today? Great question. What is one thing that I'm excited for today? Fantastic question because it gets my mind looking for something that I'm excited about. Another great question. Who can I help today and how? You know, if you're like me, I like to help people, but a lot of times I'm, I'm just so busy, right? You're so busy, right? So who can you help and how? We know that if we can get out of ourself and into helping someone else, that goes a long way towards shifting where all the, the, the focus is going. Um, I've said it before in my videos, to be anxious, to be depressed requires a ton of focus on yourself. We don't mean to do it, but let's face it, it just happens. So, so who can I help today? It's a great, great question. I want you to notice something. that The last two things, the gratitude list and the quality questions, both of those things serve me to get my mind moving in the right direction. I've talked before about the reticula reticular activating system, also known as the RAS, the RAS. From this point on, I'm going to tell you to get your, get your RAS in gear. And when I say get your RAS in gear, what I mean is that I want you to start to program your reticular activating system because your reticular activating system tells your brain what is important to focus on. At any given moment, there are millions of things that your brain could focus on. But your reticular activating system, your RAS, is only able to focus on a certain number of things. So it chooses those things that it thinks are important. And the way that it decides what those things are Either the world is telling it or you're going to tell it. So the way that you're going to tell it is by going through your gratitude list as well as asking yourself a quality question or two. It starts to get your mind moving in the right direction and it starts to tell it starts to tell your RAS <laughs> starts to tell your, your RAS what is important to look for. All right? So get your RAS in gear. And the last thing I do in my morning routine is I read a Bible verse, and I'll tell you why. When I was at my very lowest point with anxiety and depression in my 30s, 
I used to wear a dog tag, and it had one verse on it. 2 Timothy 1, 7. For God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and, a sa- and of a sound mind. And I will tell you, there were times where I did not believe that, but I would go to bed at night clutching that dog tag, needing something to, to hold on to. And what I was holding on to was God's promise that if I did my part, he would restore me fully. So that's my routine. You can cater it to your liking. You can add things. You can remove things. Um, I'm guilty of reaching for the doom box once I'm done with uh, my routine. I oftentimes do reach for the phone, do a little doom surfing, but I always try to not start there. I hope this has been of value to you. And remember, get your RAS in gear. Thank you.